Hardware and software in this video were provided as part of the MetaQuest Creator Program. Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're going to talk about a tool that's available now for the MetaQuest platform that may not be exactly what people wanted. It's called MetaQuest HDMI Link, and it lets you connect to HDMI, DisplayPort, and USB-C devices via your Quest 3. And a lot of people have been really adamant that the best way to connect to a PC for PC VR, for example, is with a DisplayPort connection. And what that means is having a direct DisplayPort connection from your headset device to the PC device. That's handled typically through either HDMI or through DisplayPort on a normal PC VR headset that's wired to your PC. With the Quest and other standalone platforms, unless they have a dedicated port for a display port, you're using USB traffic as opposed to display port traffic, and it's compressed and sometimes a little bit lesser quality. What HDMI Link aims to do is give you high quality HDMI source video feed, but it doesn't at least currently work for virtual reality applications. And it's a little clunky. So let me first of all go through this blog entry on MetaQuest's website. It says the MetaQuest 3 standalone headset will allow you to catch a live concert or comedy show, play immersive games, hang out with friends. Talk a little about the philosophy of using a Quest to connect to your PC, using the link cable, using AirLink, and now they've introduced MetaQuest HDMI link for the Quest 2, Quest 3, and Quest Pro, and future devices. Their goal is to enable you to connect your headset to a whole new category of devices, and I will say that is actually what happens, and I'll give you a brief demo after I'm done talking through this. HDMI link allows you to connect your headset to devices with an HDMI or display port output, including handheld PCs, consoles, laptops, and more. You can display 2D content in VR on a massive low latency screen, similar to the theater view that was made available in version 67 of the Quest software update. So some use cases, your roommates using the TV, you're staying in a hotel, but you still want to have a big screen experience to play your games with HDMI link, zero latency or near zero latency with a 1080p output and you can adjust the screen size like you can uh, with the Oculus browser and other windows within the MetaQuest platform. If you don't need to connect by wire, there are lots of things. They're mentioning a couple here. AirLink, if you have reliable Wi-Fi, gives you the full VR experience coming from your PC to your Quest device. Virtual Desktop is not mentioned here, but is also a fantastic application that's available for wireless presentation where you don't have to connect any wires to the PC. And Xbox Cloud Gaming, if you want to play 2D games and you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, is fantastic and gives you the same type of screen as this would. Uh, but again, if your Wi-Fi is spotty or you don't have a reliable connection, you might see a lot of blur and compression artifacts or it might render the screen at a lower resolution. This helps to solve for that. And unfortunately, right now at least, that's the only thing it helps to solve for. So here's the super big caveat. HDMI link requires some third-party hardware. You need to have a UVC and UAC compatible capture card. Um, I have one of those right here in my hand. This is a HDMI video capture 4K 30 Hertz U3, which has a HDMI input on one side and a USB-A input on the other side, USB 3.0. And then you also need to have connecting cables to go from your source device to the Quest. So I actually have to chain this into a total of three cables. Depending on the device that you're using, you may only need two, but I use this cable here, which connects from HDMI on one end 
to this little capture card device here. That gives you a USB-A on one side. And the cable at the other end is a USB-C. That's because the devices that I'm using to connect to this are all USB-C. And then I have another cable, this one right here, which connects to the other side, the USB-A side here. Also, this is USB 3.0 on one side. And USB-C on the other. And that end connects to the Quest's USB-C port. So when it's all said and done, you've got one end that connects to a device either by USB-C or HDMI or HDMI to display port, however it needs to be to get to the source device. And then the other end connecting to the Quest. And that whole chain using an app called MetaQuest HDMI link, which we're gonna click on right here. So you can see it on the Quest store. Um, it's available as a free download. Once you've got that installed on your Quest device, you just plug all this in and magic happens. We'll cut to that right now. All right, so I'm gonna plug into the Quest device right now. And it gives you a little checklist. That checklist says camera. You have to have the camera permission to connect to the device. You have to have the record audio permission to connect to the device, and it has to be connected by USB. So that's why all those wires and things are now currently connected to my Quest. I have it connected right now to my trusty Xreal Beam Pro. Uh, that is basically the same as a mobile phone device, and it's selected to capture at a video frame format of YU Y2 in 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. You can change that here. That is the maximum quality that you can get. And then if we start streaming, we're gonna open one of my favorite games here. This is called Bellatro. I'll go ahead and click on Latro window here, hit play. And I just want to mention, you can maximize the window here. You can kind of black out the real world around you. You can play the game. Um, looks like I haven't actually played this version of Bellatro yet on here, so. And so forth. So big screen you can make it bigger or smaller. And it connects via these wires to give you a near zero latency experience. Uh, you can also do all of the different formats with the window that you can with a Quest browser. You can do the curve format here. You can do adjustable dimming to bring back reality or turn reality off. and you can exit theater view and get back to multiple windows view. So all of that is available, the same as a lot of other theater view style applications. Again, this being MetaQuest HDMI link. The other thing that it's saying on the screen right now, which may not have been picked up in the recording is you're using a lot of power because this is draining the Quest battery right now as I'm using it. Uh, because everything is running through the Quest right now. It's powering the little capture card, powering everything else up to the source device. So unless you have a cable solution like this, which is also quite heavy hanging off the side of the device, and you have a situation where you have the device plugged in somehow and powered, you're going to drain your Quest battery super quickly with so a little clunky, cool that it works, but I wish it was an actual dedicated display port or HDMI port that would empower you to use virtual reality applications in this manner. So MetaQuest HDMI link is available on the MetaQuest storefront. If you have a need for this, 
and you want to have that big screen 2D viewing, it works really well for that. There are many different cable solutions that will work for this, but that key piece is the compatible video capture device in the midst of that. Uh, if you don't have it, it will not work. You can't do USB-C from a dedicated USB-C device that has a USB-C out with video output to the USB-C on the Quest. You have to still have in that chain a video capture device. Um, so might be useful for some. It's not super useful for me, but I'm going to continue to experiment with it. And I really hope that it helps to unlock a more powerful solution and get us actual true wired VR into the standalone platform. So you have both options, both a wired, good, high fidelity quality input from your PC or a wireless connection using AirLink or virtual desktop or similar solutions. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.